demonstrate the dropship accrual. Uh, I do have two items here that to be used in our demonstration. So we have this one, okay, and then this one as well. All right. So going back into our first item, as you can see, uh, this was set up as a non dropship item, okay. And if I'm gonna scroll down right here, we don't have any available for both locations. So for the second one, it is not a dropship item as well. Uh, we have quantity available on our default well, um, location, which is warehouse. Okay, so we're gonna use these two items on one sales order. For this new crafted sales order, I'm gonna include this item. Okay, so as you can see, the available is 104. Okay, and we're ordering one quantity. The first item doesn't have quantity available, right? And I'm gonna order five. So for the first item here, and if I'm gonna scroll to the right, the location uh, was actually changed to dropship accruals. So we just made that automation to use the dropship location and only if the available is less than the quantity being ordered. If I'm gonna click on approve, um, the system is gonna create a new purchase order from this sales order using the first item only, okay? Because that is the only item that doesn't have any quantity available on hand. Okay, so let's take a look at this purchase order. The business process for here would be to receive the item. We have packages as well, meaning uh, upon saving of this item receipt, uh, the system automatically a full, creates a fulfillment um, for, I mean, from this um, transaction. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna put 10 and whatever the description is and say tracking number is like that. The system gonna capture this package tracking and then also set that in our packaging sublist of the item fulfillment. And just for the review, we are receiving this item, okay, um, on this location. Okay, I'm gonna show you the item currently, which is this one. Okay, I'm gonna hit on refresh. This dropship location won't really store the quantity or the good for this location, okay, because right after we receive it, we automatically deliver it. Okay, so there is no real inventory left for that location. So if I'm going to hit on save, there you go. We have the item fulfillment created from that receipt. And um, for the packages, um, the system automatically cap captures that. Okay, and going back into our sales order, um, this has been partially fulfilled because um, based from our um, item receipt created from the purchase order, we only received and fulfilled the first item. So that is the current flow for um, in the automation for the non-dropship items.